Welcome to the Human Being Unleashed podcast, where we redefine, realign, and reimagine what it means to be, be human, human so that you can live a life with the health, wealth, and relationships that are inherently yours. Now, if I told you that there was a super easy way to get your voice heard by thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and even millions of people, would you want to know what that way is? Then stick around, because in this episode, which is very different from my normal content, I will break down how I've been getting booked on top-ranking podcast shows like Clockwork. I'm talking shows like Get Authentic with Marquise Ogden, which is a top 1.5% show. The Mind Body Business Show with Brian Kelly, another top 1.5% show. Straight Talk, No Sugar Added with Nina Perez, another 1.5% show. The Daily Path Podcast, a point five top 0.5 percent show and her edison a top one percent show and lots lots more so if getting your message out there to the masses is something that makes you excited then this episode will be the biggest needle mover in making that happen now why am i adding this episode On to the Human Being Unleashed podcast because this podcast is all about expanding human potential. And one of the number one ways to expand human potential is to allow a human being who can literally do that for other people to get their message out there and put it in front of literally millions of people. Because it is people who help other people expand their potential through story, through giving them new ideas, through new concepts that can literally plant a seed in somebody's mind that was never there before. So there's, I know there's powerful people listening to this podcast right now, and I want to help you expand the world's potential by getting your message and your offer out there to more and more people. Now, first, let me just cover why you should actually or even use podcast guesting as a marketing funnel in the first place. All right. So let's talk about podcast guesting and why do you even want to do it for starters In 2021, there were over 2 million active podcasts with over 144 million people, and this is just in the U.S. alone, listening to podcasts every single month. Isn't that absolutely crazy? And to stack it on top of that, 66% of podcast listeners earn a minimum of $75,000 a year or more. And if that's not sexy enough, then 54% of podcast consumers say that they are likely, they're more likely to buy from the brand that they hear advertised on a podcast they like, and they don't mind the advertising. In other words, tons of people listening to podcasts. I mean, you're listening to this one and these people are growth oriented. They have the means to invest in themselves. And when you advertise to them, they take more action. And if that's not sexy enough for you, and I don't know what is other than the fact that I'm pretty damn sexy. (laughs) Anyways, with that being said, let's get down to like the juicy part. How do you actually book people? Book, I mean, how do you actually get booked on shows? Well, now that I definitely got you all hot, hot and bothered about podcasting and you're ready to start pitching podcast, how do you do it? Number one, very obvious, but I felt like I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't cover this fundamental step. And that is getting clear on your audience, getting clear on the audience that you are targeting. I know, look, I know, I know, I know, I know that you want to help everybody and their mama. But if you don't know this yet, then here's a little secret that's going to save you tons of time and headaches. You can't help everybody. So please don't try to. But you can help the most people that you possibly can. And the only way you can do that is by focusing on them. So focus on that. Who is your message for? Who will benefit from your message and your work? Who's going to benefit the most from it? Who can you have the biggest impact on? And simply, also, who do you want to work with? That right there alone can help you a ton. These questions are going to narrow your focus and make finding the right podcast much easier. For example, since you guys know I launched Zamio 2, I have two audiences. Number one 
It's entrepreneurs who are impact and people focused rather than purely profit focused. Although they do, they do focus on profit as well. The other are parents who love personal growth and you want to share that with their kids while also deepening their connection and relationship with their children. Do you see how much easier knowing that makes finding relevant podcasts that will not only amplify my message, but actually impact the people who receive the message, right? So find out how to do this. Find out who this is for yourself. And when you get clear on who you're serving, then and only then can you move on to the next step, which is finding the right podcast. Now, now that you know who your podcast is, it's time to begin finding a podcast that they are actually listening to. So you can pitch them better than a major league baseball player. But um, is anybody laughing at that? <laughs> probably not. Anyways, other than the fact that my joke did just probably not land, here's a few easy ways to find podcasts. They're really obvious. The first one is to actually just ask your audience what their favorite podcasts are. All right. The effectiveness of this approach depends entirely on the quality, size and engagement of your current audience. This was a tip that I got from a good friend named Christine McAllister. She is like the queen of podcasting. I'll be um, talking about her in a little bit, but uh, it's a pretty smart idea. I didn't get the best results with this at the time. However, it is very easy. Just make a simple Facebook post, you know, or Instagram. Hey, what are your favorite podcasts for blank niche? All right, I'm looking for some recommendations, okay? The second way you can find podcasts, and by the way, they're going to tell you, oh, I like this show, this show, this show, this show. Okay, great. Now you have what your audience is actually listening to. Bam. Number two is go to Facebook groups that are made for podcast guesting, okay? In the world of Facebook, there are literally groups for everything. Like there is a group that I'm in, trust me, of course, of course I'm in this one, but there's a group that is purely dedicated to posting pictures of people who look like Adam Sandler. Freaking crazy. And of course I'm in that group. This means that there's also Facebook groups that are dedicated to helping people find podcast guests and get booked on shows. A few of them that I know I'm in, and I'll link these in the show notes, but podcast guest collaboration, community, uh, podcast guest connection, podcast guest experts, uh, need a guest. These are a couple of good um, uh, groups you can jump into. I'm sure that there's more, but these are really the only ones that I'm personally in, so I'm not going to talk about any more. But once you're in these groups, you can start finding the right shows. All you can do is like go to the top right of the group, press search, and type in your keyword or niche. Like if you're looking for a business or entrepreneur podcast, type in business or entrepreneur inside of the group in the search box and it'll bring up posts in your niche instead of going through the entire thing. Number three is guys, just use Google. I know, I know, I know. Crazy, crazy. All you gotta do is Google your subject plus podcast. For example, entrepreneur podcast, mindset podcast, parenting podcast, lawyer podcast, doctor podcast, whatever your niche is, okay? This phrase typically gets me the best results, like blank podcast. Or you can look up things like best podcast for entrepreneurs, best podcast for moms, best podcast for dads, best podcast for lawyers, best podcast for mindset. Things like that would help too. And then the next way is to actually use Podmatch for your research. I love using Podmatch because I've gotten great results with this because people literally pay up and pay a monthly fee, fee to use Podmatch for the sole purpose of finding top-notch guests for their show. So people's wallets are literally open to find guests here, okay? I will leave my affiliate link to Podmatch. You get it for a discount if you click that link and you can go check out Podmatch. You can begin finding those, those things on there. But it's not just enough to find their stuff on Podmatch. Make sure you get their email. You need to find a way to hunt down emails. I actually show you how to do this in my course, Power Pitching, which I'll talk about here in a second. But step two, once you find the right podcast, is now creating the pitch. Now, let me first start by saying the most important rule of marketing. Nobody cares about you. They only care about what you can do for them. So if you pitch somebody and you make the entire pitch about how great you are, then nobody's going to even finish the pitch. Okay, don't start the pitch with, my name is blank and I help blank accomplish blank. Why? Because the first word out of your mouth is my. In other words, you're talking about you right out of the gate. And as human, I mean, as human, <laughs> as host of this Human Being Unleashed podcast, let me tell you guys, and you probably pitch me if you're listening to this show because a lot of y'all guys pitch me. I've gotten hundreds of pitches from guests trying to be on my show, probably thousands at this point. And guess what? Nearly every one of them 
started with this format. Hi, Adrian. My name is blank. The moment I see this, I delete the pitch. You can call me code, but it's human nature, period. So rethink your pitch and ask, what would they want from this email? And how can I communicate that in the first three to five words? Yes, the first three to five words. And I show you how to do this in my power pitch program, which I'll talk about here in a second. Next step is to send the pitch but do it in the form of a video. As I stated above, my podcast here gets countless pitches in my inbox literally daily. And the funniest thing is every single one of them is a long text-based email. Not a single one of them is video. And I find this so mind-blowing when 88% of consumers said in a poll in 2022 that they would like to see more videos. From brands. <laughs> the number one reason I got my video watched because the headline of the email stirred up enough curiosity to get opened. And when they opened it, the email was powerful enough to get another click. And the second click happened because the copy alluded to a video that I made just for them. Not used to getting people who are not used to getting videos, they press play immediately. But the question now comes down to how do you create a video powerful enough to turn you from a complete stranger to a firm and resounding yes? Well, here's how to make a powerful video pitch. If you want to get people to act, you have to know what drives human behavior. And what drives human behavior is emotion. Once you know this, then the next step makes sense. Tell a story in your pitch. Guys, stories are the best way in to enroll somebody into a yes because stories enroll people into an emotional experience because stories create pictures in our minds. And since we're all visual beings, images strongly influence what we do or do not do. If you're a vegan, the image of meat is so gross that you don't even have the desire for it. If you imagine squeezing lemon juice into your tongue and begin, your, your mouth will very immediately begin to salivate. That's because physical matter follows the images in the mind. Therefore, it's the images held in the mind that drive human behavior, that drive emotion. And emotion is, dry, is what drives behavior. So stories are the best way to go if you're going to pull someone in from the start to finish. They create mental movies in people's minds. Therefore, formulating your story and fitting it into a one to two minute window is key to getting a lot of bookings. And I call this your power story. And I teach you how to write a power story in the Power Pitch program. All you, I'm about to break the Power Pitch program down, but if you just go to thepowerpitch.co slash workshop, you'll see it, or just take away the slash and put the powerpitch.co. Anyways, uh, I'm about to get into that here in a second, but let me go ahead and just break down at least the overall structure for you so you know how to do this. The, fir the first step in the Power Pitch is to connect, Okay. Before you go into explaining how you can add value to them and their audience, make sure you connect with the host. Find some way to relate to a recent episode or their overall theme of the show. Be very specific in this part as it will make or break the pitch. Be genuine. People can sniff bullshit from a mile away. The second, the second step in the structure of a power pitch is to introduce yourself through a story in a way that demonstrates your expertise. After and only after you connect, introduce yourself and do it through a story. For example, my name is Adrian and my life was deeply impacted when I was a young boy who got made fun of because I couldn't pronounce my words correctly. <laughs> do you feel the difference between that and my name is Adrian and I help people overcome doubts and fears so they can be successful? I mean, like, come on. Right? Which one's going to pull on the heartstrings and open up that loop? Okay? Find a way to get the host emotionally invested in why you do what you do. B 
before you tell them what you do. I'm going to say that again. Find a way to get the host emotionally invested in why you do what you do before you tell them what you do. This will get them emotionally invested. After this, you tell them what you do, how it can help their audience, and be sure, by the way, you know their audience. <laughs> but worst thing is, I said, this can help your audience, and they're like, um, that's not my audience. <laughs> okay, know their audience. And when you do this, then you can easily do the next one. Make the ask. <laughs> that's it. That's it. When you got them emotionally invested, they're ready to be asked to do something. Just ask them directly whether or not they want to have you on their show, but do it in a way that's a win-win, okay? Again, you can learn how to craft your own power story in the Power Pitch program. Now, this thing that I just laid out for you is a surefire way to stand out. Literally, it's a surefire way to stand out, okay? Trust me when I say you will stand out from the stack of pitches that are flooding the inbox of the podcast host you're pitching. Because as I've said before, everybody and their mama sends me boring emails full of text and no video. Videos add a more personal touch. And you can transfer your energy over much more easily than text. Okay? So you can use tone. You can use cadence, pauses, and body language to your advantage when communicating your message, making the pitch tremendously better. And lastly, hardly anybody does this when pitching a podcast. So you'll win more when they do, guaranteed. Now, at the end of all of this, guys, guest podcasting is a phenomenal way to get your message out there, period. Just look up my name on your podcast platform, wherever you're at, Adrian Moreno. Watch how much shows come up that I've been on. These shows have helped me grow my businesses and amplify my impact. Literally one episode can hit millions of listeners, which can be life-changing for you and your business. And from my own experience, I can confidently say that video pitches are far better than text pitches, meaning they get better results. Using video pitches, I'm about, using video pitches, I land four plus podcast bookings a week. And I don't have to pay for expensive PR or expensive guest slots or none of that shit. In a video pitch, you have the opportunity to show who you are as a person rather than just relying on written words to make an impression. And video also builds trust a lot better. They can see you, hear your voice, get a sense for your energy and enthusiasm, right? This is, this is important. Now, uh, remember, don't just send any video. Include a powerful story in the video pitch. That is the number one way to turn that video pitch into the hottest pitch that post has ever received is having your power story in it. Now, look, guys. I personally, okay, I personally run two businesses. Y'all know that, all right? I got my hypno, I got my, um, you know, we, what we do the hypnosis with a behavior transformation company. Then I got my company for kids, Zamio. I don't spend my time teaching people how to get bought podcast bookings, nor do I want to, okay? But I've used podcast bookings to grow my businesses. And I've discovered a super simple way to get booked on big podcast. I mean, guys, this massively underutilized approach is literally responsible for getting me booked on some really big shows. Shows where people like Steve Sims, Tucker Max, Ed Lattimore, and more were interviewed as well. Like with literally millions of downloads per year. And I do this with a single code email pitch. And I don't, I don't even have to follow up. And I don't pay to get on these shows. I just crafted a pitch so damn beautiful that they couldn't say no. I went from a complete stranger to being booked in a single code email. So instead of keeping this amazingly effective process to myself, I'm going to host a workshop where I show you step by step how I'm landing top ranked podcast every single week and filling up my pipeline because of it. Okay. And I'm only going to do it for $47 guys. So for only $47, you can learn how I find podcasts with an audience that actually buys what I have to sell. You're going to watch me break down how I craft all of my pitches that are powerful enough to take me from a stranger to a firm yes in a single shot. You're going to get 10 plus examples of the pitches I've used and I've sent to top ranking shows that landed me a yes on those shows along with the scripts and templates 
you're going to be able to look over my shoulder as I build out a tracking system for you that helps you stay on top of your leads. And you're going to learn how I deliver on these podcast guesting shows that I'm on in a way that turns those listeners into ready to buy leads who are already giving me the credit card by the time they hit my DMs because they already know, like, and trust me from the show that they literally just heard me on, right? And I'm also going to cover the one email pitch you should never send recommended by other top podcast booking experts. If you send these emails, trust me when I say you are sure to be ignored. So you get access to all of this for only $47. And as soon as I'm done with this workshop, by the way, I'm going to break the recordings up and sell them as a course for $597 up to about $997, probably around that thing. And I'm going to run ads to it. So not only do you get direct access to the most powerful podcast pitching strategy of all time that has literally had got me a 45% conversion rate on getting on shows, but you also get to keep the recording without having to pay 10x the price that everybody else will have to pay to get the results that you're about to get. So if you want to save your spot, We go live on November 30th. It's going to be a two-hour workshop. Just go to thepowerpitch.co slash workshop. Thepowerpitch.co slash workshop. And or you can just hit the link in the show notes below. And if it's past November 30th while you're listening to this, just go to thepowerpitch.co and you can get the recording. Okay. With all that being said, I hope you found this very, very, very helpful and I hope you're going to use this immediately and have yourself a wonderful day and go impact the freaking world in the way I know you can.